How's she going, ladies? Today we are taking a look at the Think Center M625Q. This is about the cheapest Lenovo system that you can get at the moment. Uh, what is it, like 500 US? Six like something Canadian. As you can see here, it definitely wasn't made for video gaming. I'll show you the score at the end. This is pass mark. Oh, yeah, pass mark. Anyways, we're getting uh, the codes. We're getting everything figured out. Anyways, let's come over here and have a look at the unit. The unit is actually an uh, interesting size. comes with, what is it? One, two, three, four, four USBs and two display ports. Let's take a look at the inside of it after we take a look at the front. So we just open her up like that. There we go. Not much going on here. Nice little spot for the bay. So, whoa, that's one hot CPU. Jeez. I burned my fingers right there. All right. All right. So, yeah, you can put another hard drive right here. Um, yeah, the hard drive actually zip ties that thing. That thing is uh, where the connector goes. Let's well, flip her upside down. Take uh, one second. Take that off of there. And then you can see the RAM. It slides right off. And you can see the RAM. And the uh, M2 SSD, little, little oh, we SSD, isn't she so cute? Look how cute, it's so cute, it's so cute. Yeah, anyways, the M26, yeah, it says right there. It says right there, so yeah, pretty cute, super light. Um, not very strong, but hey, if you just have production machines that you need to do something with, and this system uh, should be just fine for you. Looks like the benchmark's almost done. CPU likes to hang at 100%, uh, I find. And we have, this is a dual core, I think it's 1.8 gigahertz. And it does what I need it to. It's not the fastest thing. I wouldn't want to put this thing through a whole lot. It'll definitely get you through college, university. Uh, but for something this size, what do we got here? I probably shouldn't be doing this right now. Yeah. 1.8 gigahertz dual core, 4 gigabyte RAM, DDR4, and, um, you know, just generic Windows. Actually, not Windows. This is AMD. This drive is... Oh. Oh, wait, sorry. Display driver, AMD, Radeon. Five processes. Yeah, let's see what kind of um, benchmark I get out of this. Oh, wow. Honestly, not a bad score. It looks like the solid state drive is the only thing this thing actually had going for it, though. Check that out. Wow. I almost want to copy over. I really want to copy over a regular drive and swap them out and see if it's as fast. But man, everything sucks except that solid state drive. That's amazing. That's amazing. Anyways, yeah, good little unit, good power. Man. For the price that you pay, but geez, in about two years, I expect the price of these things will go to about uh, 120 bucks, I'd imagine. But yeah, that's the inside of it. You got uh, the battery, the fan, the hot ass. Uh, wow, that is hot. Why did they even pipe anything? Wait, where is the? How is the heat getting to that? Or sorry, how is the? Geez, please tell me that's just the North Bridge. Because I'm really getting the feeling like this fan only blows air in and around. And there's no actual CPU on there. Why don't they put something to pipe that heat through? It doesn't make any sense. It just... Why would you put... Why would you put the heat so close to... I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys have any answers for me on that one, I'd really appreciate it. But... It just doesn't make sense why they would have something like this. I guess it pulls the air through. Hmm. I feel like if I glue a loony to that, it'll help us out. That's it for me, folks. Have a good one. Take care of each other. Like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it, and uh, catch you later.